This video is a description and demonstration of Syndea Release 3.1 from Intercax, specifically as a plugin for Magic Draw from No Magic. Syndea, from the Greek root for bringing things together, is a digital platform for model based engineering, connecting model elements in different engineering software tools and repositories. A second video is available showing the same capabilities as a plugin for IBM Rational Rhapsody. Before we move to the demonstration, let's start with a broad overview of Syndea's many features. Model-Based Systems Engineering MBSE, began with the concept that the system should be described in a single digital model rather than a series of static, disconnected documents. All the documents and views needed can be generated from a single source of truth. The problem is, no single tool or repository contains all the system data. Organizations use multiple tools for multiple vendors in the engineering process, and system data is distributed over all of them. The challenge is much larger than the traditional concerns of the system engineer. We need to build a single model extending over multiple tools and repositories. Zendaya attempts to meet that challenge using the concept of a graph, tying together model elements in different models in different tools. The architecture of the Syndea platform puts the system architecture model created in the SysML modeling tools Magic Draw or Rhapsody at the center. While this is not the only possible approach, it makes a good starting point for building our graph. SysML allows requirements, structure, behavior, and analysis to interact as equals and provides an effective high-level roadmap and clearinghouse for the system specification. The first release of Syndea in 2014 provided interfaces for SysML models to the Siemens Team Center and PTC Windchill PLM systems and MySQL databases. The second release added Simulink and NX and Creo CAD systems. Syndea 3.0 in the summer of 2016 added requirements in Doors NG, software ALM with GitHub, and project management with JIRA. The latest release, Syndea 3.1 in May 2017, has new interfaces to JAMA and Stateflow. Equally important, Syndea 3.1 has a separate backend database for building, maintaining, and querying the graph connections. This leads to a faster, more scalable application and opens up the possibility of multiple hubs for our graph network beyond the SysML model. It is almost meaningless to talk about integrating models without talking about specific use cases. In other words, what does Syndea do? Well, this depends, of course, on the tools connected. The Syndea interface to the PLM and database tools first lets us see the contents of those repositories we can populate the PLM bill of materials from a SysML architecture model, or build our SysML model using existing product structures in PLM. The models remain connected, and as they evolve over time, Sidea can compare them to find the differences, and update them as desired to return to consistency. CAD interfaces support a wide variety of use cases. We can convert a CAD assembly into a SysML block structure, or port CAD design attributes into SysML for requirements verification. We can even generate starting CAD models from SysML requirements, defining reference planes, bounding boxes, and keepout zones for the designer directly. Simulate models for simulation and SysML activity and connectivity diagrams have a lot in common. Syndea can transform those common elements, like blocks, ports, and connectors, from SysML to Simulink or vice versa, and compare and harmonize those models as they change. The simulation and architecture teams can move forward in parallel, knowing that they are working from the same system model. 
In Zendaya 3.1, Simulink's state flow module has been added to the interface. State behavior modeled in SysML can be simulated in Simulink. Requirements management is a critical part of systems engineering. Zendaya can link any SysML element to a requirement or a specific version of a requirement in Doors NG or Java, or it can generate and update a copy of that requirement in the SysML model, making it easier to relate that requirement to the structure, behavior, and analysis elements that it affects. A Zendaya link to a version-managed file in GitHub helps coordinate software and hardware during system development. And additional links to JIRA issues can bring project management to the system's development. A work breakdown structure in SysML can be mapped to a task structure in JIRA, tracking status, schedule, and personnel. Creating all these connections opens up a new opportunity, understanding where our data lives. Zendaya is adding more features to trace, query, and visualize chains of connection across the total system model. Zendaya 3.0 introduced several built-in interactive visualizations to view connections both inside and between tools. We can view, search, and filter the connections between models holistically in a chord plot. And we can identify nearest neighbors progressively both inside and across tool boundaries. The addition of a new backend database in Zendaya 3.1 provides more options, with quick responses to queries for even very large models. While the use cases and tools Zendaya handles cover a wide range, the user interface is common across them. The Zendaya dashboard creates connections using simple drag and drop operations. Diff tables can be generated to compare models, and drop-down menus expose basic commands like compare, sync, open, and visualize. Many of these commands are available directly from the SysML model. Let's look at Zendaya in action. We'll start with an initial conceptual SysML model of a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle. Our job is to integrate payload and other flight systems with a basic aircraft platform from another vendor. We launch the Zendaya dashboard from the SysML model. The first tab shows all the existing repository connections we have set up. Zendaya stores my access credentials, including username and password, which allows me to see some of the contents of those repositories. In the Connection Manager tab, My first task is to bring system requirements in from a JAMA repository. I identify the top-level requirement in JAMA, choose Model Transform Connection, which will bring over the whole requirement structure recursively, and drag and drop the requirement into an empty SysML package. In a few moments, the requirement structure is generated in SysML. With each individual requirement persistently linked to its original in JAMA. If I modify the requirement text in one, I can compare across all the connections and see the differences immediately. If I choose and have overwrite privileges to the repository, I can update the requirements in either direction. The second task is to take existing product information in a Windchill PLM repository to detail out the aircraft platform block. In the Connection Manager, we change over to a Windchill connection, where I have been given access to several products, 
projects and libraries. I drag a specific part revision of the aircraft platform from Windchill, which has its own multi-level part structure, into SysML. Now the SysML model reflects this in its own part structure including PLM attributes selectively brought over as value properties in SysML. If I compare across the platform connection, Zendaya shows me that there is a later revision of the PLM part available. A.9 rather than the original A.8 with an additional backup electrical system. I can update the SysML structure by choosing Sync Target to SysML, and the latest version is pushed to Magic Draw. As the project evolves, I will make a lot more connections. The flight software block is connected both to a commit in a GitHub software configuration management repository and a JIRA task for issue tracking. I can open either from the SysML model itself by right-clicking and choosing Open Connected Artifact. A SysML internal block diagram showing the connectivity of the avionics system has been used to generate a Simulink structure of blocks, ports, and connectors, ready for the analyst to add MATLAB code to execute a system simulation. As the number of connections grows, I can use Syndia to visualize the graph I have built. A chord plot provides a quick snapshot of what tools are connected. SysML, Simulink, GitHub, Jira, JAMA, and MySQL, and how densely they are connected with extensive search and filter capabilities. Or, I can start my search from a single element, the flight controller block in SysML, and show its nearest neighbors. Such as the flight software allocated to it, or the SysML requirement that it satisfies. And then expand their nearest neighbors to follow chains of connection. New visualization methods are being introduced in each new release as customers are identifying the most effective views of the system for their purposes. Hopefully, this demonstration has given you a better feeling for Syndea as a useful tool for building, using, and understanding the total system model for MBE. One question that frequently arises is, does Syndea use open standards? Sedea uses a variety of standards, frameworks, and APIs, but from a pragmatic perspective. We use them where they are implemented, are robust, and support the customer's use cases, but the use case comes first. A second question is, can Sedea connect to tools not on the current list? Sedea is constantly introducing new interfaces, and this can happen fairly quickly, especially when standard APIs using OSLC or REST are available. Again, the roadmap here is customer-driven, and we work closely with our customers to deliver quick, high-value solutions. More and more approaches to model-based engineering are being proposed. Why should Syndea be part of your solution set? Well, first, we're vendor-neutral. 
We work with your tool set, legacy or best in class, for PLM, CAD, and all the other domains. Second, we don't impose a particular way to do MBE. It's not a choice of link or sync. Syndia can do both. We support your use cases, starting with immediate high-impact needs with the potential to add other connections over time. Third, we provide a consistent user interface. Many vendors provide point-to-point -point solutions, and users have developed their own. But Sandea uses the same dashboard, the same menus, and drag-and-drop actions for many different interfaces, and a single database to store and explore these connections. Finally, Intercax as your partner has a clear vision of the future of MBE the central, in fact, the only, focus of our organization. Our roadmap leads to a robust, scalable enterprise application. The total system model will be accessible from all parts of the organization and on many portals, but at the same time protecting proprietary data from users without the right credentials. Since our start, Intercax has worked with the pioneering early adopters of MBSC and MBE building and maintaining a technical edge through these collaborations that is now available to a larger base. To learn more about Sindea and the latest features, check out our website, intercax.com. Links are there to many more short videos focused on specific applications or interfaces. When you're ready, request an eval license. Sindea comes with online user guide and tutorials and regular licensees have access to a new self-paced video training package and technical support to get them up to speed fast. Contact us at info at with questions and comments. We're eager to hear from you.